M. Knight's known for his twist, so some of his don't really have a twist, not really worth ranking, but I made a list here that we're just going to adjust as we go on. Well, Chris, before we get into it, I want to judge it based on a couple of merits here. Sure. Just two things. Whether or not the twist, did we see it coming, and does it hold up to scrutiny if you talk about it for more than like a minute? So I think those are pretty fair merits to to, to see if it's a good twist or not, right? Right? Yeah, right. yeah. So with that being said, let's go through them. First one, signs. So the twist is that the aliens are allergic to water and that yes. God's real or what's that? <laughs> yeah, that's, is that it? That's the twist. I think so. I didn't see it coming. I don't think anyone saw it coming. Uh, well, so that night himself tells that you. It. Very <laughs> in your face yeah. about it, if you will. <laughs> it doesn't hold up to more than a minute of scrutiny, to be honest with you. Why would these super advanced aliens come to a planet oh, with 75% water? Yeah. water? You got to be kidding me. And also people are like, there's water in the air. What if you, you went to Mexico, you know how humid it is down there, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, yeah I would put this like a... B or C tier in terms of twist ability. Yeah, definitely not the best. I mean, it is kind of fun, reverent, wife dies, hates God, and then does all these things. Oh, son's got asthma. The daughter hates water. Hates water. Or, or, yeah, so puts water in water. Place. Merle uh, plays baseball and has a bat so that he can break the glasses. Why not just throw a glass of water? I feel like that'd be more effective, but yeah, you know, it's not the best. Now this one, mm. I think this is clearly the best, if you ask me. For sure, yeah. Like, and that, is, that one is the sixth sense, his his best one. Yes, this is known for twists. Like everyone knows the twist, the sixth sense, even if you haven't seen the film. Yeah, yeah I think this so. The time it, it did cream. a really good job of this. That's his cream. Yep, not of the crop, <laughs> just in general. <laughs> that's his cream. <laughs> um. No, I think for the time, you know, like it does a good job of not bashing you over the head with uh, explaining things. As someone who had it spoiled for me, I can't say that, you know, I didn't see it coming. But you, did you see it coming? I did not, but I was you also like seven years old. So I. Well, that's the target audience. Yeah. So good job. Yeah. So yeah, didn't see it coming. Great twist. Probably one of the most, inf or not infamous, just one of the most famous twists of movie history. That's what everyone comes to, so good job. And I feel like it does hold up to scrutiny just because people will be like, oh, there's, it's so obvious. Why is this old man only talking to this little boy for a year, blah, 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 you know? But it's like, he's a ghost. You know, he comes and ghosts and stuff. Yeah. And it's just like, you're either on board or you're not. And I, I feel like it uh, it holds up to scrutiny much better than others. So I'll say that. Next film, Unbreakable. Unbreakable. The twist is that Glass was evil. Is that, that the twist and he was behind everything? That he's, yeah, he's the villain. Now, Chris, who would have thought that the man in the wheelchair who is super genius and hates the world would be the villain? I, I didn't see that coming. I mean, he throughout the whole movie, he's talking that like, there's, there has to be opposition in all things and balances. And I'm like, okay, well, you got strong man over here, Bruce Willis, and what's on the other side? It's got to be something. So it's like, I don't know. Did you see the twist coming? Again, I was probably, I think I was like 10 when I watched this. So I probably didn't even know. <laughs> I had no idea what was going on regardless. But <laughs> yeah, it's not, uh, it's pretty easy to see, I'd say. It's not, it's not an amazing twist, but I'd probably yeah. put it on the same level as like signs, if you ask me. Sure. It's, it's middle because it's also not a huge twist. It's not like, yeah, it's just kind of part of the story. So I guess moving on to split this twist and i feel like this one it's not really a twist it's like a easter egg yeah. a glorified easter egg is what i'd call it well i definitely did not see it come like i wasn't thinking like oh bruce willis is gonna be so i mean it shocked mm -hmm. me yeah i mean but. i don't think anyone saw it coming i heard audible gasps in my theater for the four people who were like that's that's bruce that's, it's bruce it's <laughs> Die Hard? It's <laughs> David Dunn. Die Hard, yeah. No, so I didn't see it coming, and there's not much scrutiny to put on there. Yeah. Technically, because it's just like- It's the same universe. Yeah, it's yeah. connected. What else do you want? So I guess put by it, our own metrics, yeah. you got to put it up there. Say like a B, what do you think? Yeah, B, because it's also not a twist. It's just part B of the story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, the village. If something tells me you're going to have scrutiny. I think it's a, as far as a twist- that you don't see coming. It's a pretty yeah. good twist. You, you gotta admit. 
Oh, yeah. I love the, tw- like, don't get me wrong. I love the twist. I don't think anyone saw that coming. And and I watched it recently with my in-laws and they were like, what? Like, they they didn't see it coming. They had a blast. <laughs> and he, towards the end, he got M. Night doing just Mr. Exposition at the end oh, where he's yeah, got to explain really. everything. That's where it kind of falls apart just a little bit. That guy's, you know, getting the mess and he's like, oh, one more thing. I got to explain real quick why planes helicopters are, yeah. planes don't fly over here, you know? Yeah, it was a um, real bad day for me when yeah, <laughs> real bad people day. were getting suspicious. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, and because they're on Walker Ranch or land, whatever, yeah, and, a nature preserve or something, and they really show it like two or three times. They're like, "Yeah, we get okay, it." Yeah, I get and it. It's yeah. like, "Oh yeah, no, don't uh, don't talk to people. Don't let them know, you know." And I'm like, "Yeah, we get it, you know." Yeah. But you can't sit there and tell me, for the first time seeing this in the theater, you could not see that coming. Like, you just didn't. I think there was n- nearly in- any indication that that was going to happen. If you do, if you did see it coming, tell us tell yeah, us why. Wow. Tell us that you're a liar. No, <laughs> <laughs> Props on you, I guess. But I would put it as like an A or B, just because you do have to talk about it, you know, survives the scrutiny, but like barely over a minute type of thing, mm-hmm. so... Good twist. Yeah, I'd say I'd put it as A, right? Beneath. Oh, yeah. The that that feels right. The above split. The visit. The, the visit twist is. for that is the grand. It wasn't the grandparents, right? Correct. That they and killed I like the this grandparents. One, I think it works pretty well. Yeah. It's not super hard to figure out, per se, mm-hmm. but it's not like super easy, I guess. I mean, it's, I feel like most people probably figured it out before they revealed it. Because so like mm-hmm. the- you definitely feel like, oh, these, these grandparents, there's uh, something off about them. Yeah. They're, uh, real weird. But then you hear like, oh, I can't remember if it was on like the radio or, or whatever. It's like, uh, the same asylum is pretty close. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> so like you plant that seed and you're like, ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So like I, some people probably could have seen it coming. So I would probably put it as like a B after yeah. split. So maybe? that's fine. Yeah. Glass. Also, wait, sorry. I have one qualm with that one. What kind of a mother just, just sends some kid off? <laughs> she really doesn't like the, her parents, I guess. And yeah. Anyway. Now, glass. The twist is that there are superheroes and the psychiatrist is like a part of some society. Am I, am I remembering this? Yeah. Right? There's there's like two twists, two, two and a half kind of. Because like you said, mm-hmm. the twist is that superheroes are real, I guess. But we already knew that from Unbreakable. Yeah. And then the stupidest one is that there's a secret society yeah. that's behind superheroes and the, keeping them under wraps of that. And I'm like, first of all, who would who would want that? Who's paying for this all, first of all? Is it the government, whatever? I don't care. Who's that interested in these, like, handful of people? If anyone, if there was a secret society, they would use these people as their benefit, use them as weapons or whatever. We all know that. And also the twist that like, oh, superheroes are real. Nobody would care too. Like they're like, oh, we're going to show the world of mid James McAvoy flipping over a car and David Dunn, you know, pushing whatever. And if you were to send me that clip on Twitter, I would just been like, I don't care. Yeah. Like what? Next. It's not funny. Like <laughs> nobody cares. Next. Yeah. And ah, yeah, it's just, I think it's one of his worst twists. Yeah. Because I don't like it. My main concern with it is like, where's the money coming from? Who's paying for this? And that's what really gets my gets me going. Is just you know, someone's got to fund all this. Someone's got to rent the restaurant to put all those people in there, <laughs> make all those reservations. I don't know, man. It just doesn't work out at all for me. I, I say what D? Yeah, if D's the lowest, then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the happening, ooh, the twist. Happening. I don't really, I don't even think there is a twist. I guess the twist. There's twist as they live. The twist is they live, and it's it was the trees the whole time. But that they kind of tell you. Yeah, it's not really. Like it's just part of minutes. the story. Like so it's not really a me. Where would you put that? Where are you putting that? I'm saying that's like an F. There's no t- like it's sure. not really because you think they're gonna die and then they don't. But that whole movie's an F. Uh, old. Ooh, this one's probably glass tier. Worse than glass. Uh, because the the twist in old is that. They are getting old on the beach, and it's all part of these pharmaceutical clinical trials that this big pharma is a part of, or whatever that they're. And you didn't see it coming because it's so stupid. You're like, "What's the resolve to this?" Oh, that's the resolve. Okay, that's dumb. 
the twist is stupid. And then also there's a litany of questions that follow, one of which is like, A, who's paying for us? Where's the money? Who found this out? How did you know that this was a thing? It's just uh, really stupid, in my opinion, too. Yeah. So. I what, what do you got? Uh, I think the same thing here. I, I'd put that as like a D behind glass. Yeah. Last one, knock out the cabin. I, the twist was that the apocalypse was real and that the dad saved everyone because he killed his husband. Again, it's not really a twist. It's just like, yeah, that's, yeah. that's the story. Yeah, it's kind of like a happening situation. I'll throw that as that. Because it's like, oh, are these, pe- there's like two scenarios in that. It's are these people crazy? Or is the apocalypse real? So one of them's got to be the answer. So it's, I don't know. It's not really a twist in my opinion, but yeah. I don't know. What are your yeah. thoughts in the comments? Let me know. Yeah. What what is, how do you think little... about that list, Chris? That, that look like a good list to you? That's, uh, that's pretty good to me. I'm sure yeah. we'll have disagreements in the comments, which is totally welcome. Let us know. Thanks for watching these highlights from our episode of the Stale Popcorn Podcast. If you want to listen to the full episode, click on the link in the description. Please like, share, subscribe, and if you do that with your favorite YouTuber, I'm sure they would appreciate it too. Thanks, and have a great day. Popcorn! Ah!